Everybody, Warframe Mobile iOS is here. It's here, it's in the game right now. This is the general control scheme for it. Let me know if you love it or hate it, okay? If we go full screen, you can see you have jump, you have a uh, bullet jump, and you have, I think, dash, or like slide. So you have crouch, jump, and bullet jump, I think. I think that's kind of how that works. In the general left section, you have your move stick, and you can also aim, I think, with the general right section. So this is movement, and then with your right stick, you just put your finger down and then move uh, your aiming more so. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays. I assume you just like hold down and move around to shoot. You have your one, two, three, four abilities, right? One, two, three, four, right here, your weapon right here to swap out my face, right? It's actually blocking nothing. Say hi to YouTube Twitch folk, feel free. So that's kind of how that's going. Stand alone. It has the little marker there. I think these are menu items and maybe is also where you can check buffs, objectives, stuff like that. It seems pretty interesting overall. And right now, if you have an iPhone, at least a newer iPhone, you too can go play Warframe Mobile. You can cross save, cross link your Warframe account, obviously. So you can go play your new or an old account, like your current account or a brand new account on Warframe iOS live your story you know wherever you play you want to take a poop and you want to play the game you want to take a pee and play the game maybe maybe have a bath maybe have a shower get a waterproof phone right maybe chill in the hot tub play some warframe oh, you can do it in a movie theater probably not a good idea but you know anything's possible if you truly believe so it's it's here it's out now february 20th well would you look at that that's right now it is out in the game People have been talking about it, people have been talking about it, and mobile players are legit ruining recruit chat. You have mobile players everywhere trying to get in, right? Mobile is here, this is annoying, get out of recruit, how is cross save disappointing, right? It's like people aren't even recruiting, they're just chatting, so I guess that's why it's being ruined. So it's in game, it's, it's happening, oh boy, it's happening. So it's getting pretty crazy getting pretty crazy but there's a lot more to look at right now okay where's mine there it is so warframe mobile is out host migration for mobile players seemingly is gonna be terrifying i'm very curious maybe grief your teammates with mobile connection yeah i don't know about that i feel like that might get you a like a matchmaking fan you know probably a bad idea yeah just gonna say it probably not the freshest idea but you do you boo so if you check right now, Warframe is now available on iOS. There is a general FAQ if you're curious, right? Jump into Warframe Mobile on tons of new iOS devices. I think it's iPhone 10s, like X and XR, or like X, XS. Anyways, I think it's like iPhone Xs, XRs, and up. So it's like iPhone 10 and up is available to play Warframe Mobile. So if you have an older iPhone, you won't be able to play uh, either way. You can sign up, 70 million players, 10 years of incredible content, you know? Years of videos on my channel. My sanity is just, doesn't exist anymore, it's gone. Master your Warframe, go through the star chart, unlock 50 plus Warframes, each unique suite power to control mayhem any way you want. If you're returning Tenno, you can set up your cross save and uh, try playing on mobile. How to install iOS, just go to your uh, iPhone's like iOS store, app store, right? The iPhone store. Yeah. And then other than that, Apple devices released in 2018 or later are recommended. So anything iPhone XS, XR and up is compatible. Okay. Hardware released, iPad hardware released 2018, uh, 2019 or later is recommended. So you can have an eighth generation iPad and then go all the way up to us. Oh yeah. Eighth, ninth, 10th, fifth, fourth, third with iPad. Yeah. iPad pro first gen actually works. Okay, so if you have an iPad, a newer one, you can definitely just go ham on that. How much of the Warframe experience will be available on iOS? Pretty much all of it. Will iOS update simultaneously with other platforms? Yupperoni! What's the total size of iOS? Uh, not huge. Full game is about 10 gigs, cool. Warframe on iOS, cross-platform save compatible. You bet your sweet cheeks it is. Can I use external controller? Hell yeah, brother. Get up on that Bluetooth controller. How do you touch? How do touch controls work? Uh, they just do. You touch the screen and then it works. 
I know, mind blowing. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'll figure it out. Keyboard mouse support not available iOS at this time. Fuck! <laughs> no! I didn't expect that. Damn, we, I just got pranked. Well, you can use a controller. You just can't use a keyboard and mouse. Oh well, still funny though. Where is new Warframe on Android? It's in beta, ha 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 ha, cry. What is happening on Warframe companion app? Ooh, they're delisting it to con avoid confusion. Yeah, maybe Warframe should figure their stuff out around that for like a long-term plan. You don't want a ton of people downloading the companion app thinking it's the real app. You need to have it like companion app in brackets, Warframe utility app or something like that. And then like have the Warframe, yeah, I don't know. They have to, I guess, make it stand out more because just delisting it's not a good alternative. It's a good short term, but yeah, either way, Warframe Mobile for iOS. Holy crap, it's out. If you download it now, I think like day lo one login reward, you get a sweet signed on. Look how zoomed out that is. Oh my God, 500%, look at that, pixels. Oh, mm, so beautiful. So you can log in and take a look, get some loot, not bad. They have the entire Warframe like TLDR down here. Version 1.0.2, right? Look at that version history. Woo, sheesh. We had version one in August when it first went up, version 1.0.1 in February 6. We've added entirely new cut touch controls. Oh, that was like just a couple weeks ago then, huh? And now this week, they've updated at new touch controls. Well, oh, that was two days ago and it's out. So hell yeah. Check out Warframe Mobile. It's on the iOS app store, you know, iPhone, Apple store, call it what you will. App store, iPhone, iPad. If you have new stuff, you can try it. Warframe has uh, let everyone know. It's like, oh, Countdown to iOS has launched everyone. Well, well. Had a link by PC account though. You just do it online. It was a million PC accounts screaming in agony as host migration, horrible lag, Hor Android, well win. Okay then, just download, update again, again, please fix. So yeah, it's a little bit buggy right now, huh? A little bit buggy. There was a forum post for Xbox update delays and the Xbox update is no longer delayed. Like it got out within a reasonable amount of time. So we now have Warframe on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and phone devices on iOS. Not bad, not bad. We're hitting all of them. Slowly releasing Warframe to every possible corner of the world. I have iPhone, but I can't download them because my CPU is not powerful enough. Yeah, you need a iPhone XR, XS, 10 plus, pretty much. So that's what's going on there. We did have the whispers in the walls. Update 35.1.0. I assume because of uh, Warframe Mobile and all that. It's an interim cert update. The big updates planned for March with the release of Dante Unbound and that update is, well, dev stream is later this week. I'll have a Warframe video going over all of the free loot tomorrow. I think it's Umbra Forma and regular Forma drops this week. So, hey, that's not too bad. New player improvement paths. So they've made things easier for beginning players. Pog, a little easier, a little easier. Sweet, sweet. Solaris United and uh, Vox Solaris, things are easier to farm out of them right? Less uh, required debt bonds and whatnot. So it's just easier to rank up Vox Solaris and S Solaris United a little bit. Cool. Not mad at that. New Earth Junction reward bond or a mod, right? Additions. We have a bunch of Hildren and other bunch of prime themes, I should say, on the Soma Cord are now available at Barzia Prime Resurgence offering for Aya. Okay. We have the new Warframe iOS starter pack that released because of iOS, I should say. ALAC max rank, Serration mod max rank, and 100 platinum. Okay, that's something. It's like 550 Canadian, so it's not like expensive at least. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, go play Warframe Mobile right now on your iPhone iOS device if you want. People are just yelling in here. Cross-platform pl cross-save fixes. So there's a ton of fixes between cross-save and cross-platform trade and everything. So, yeah, play save fixes, chat. Pog! And then a bunch of other just general fixes, Albert Contrati, bugs, changes. If you want to read through all of these, go ahead. I don't have the mental capacity to do it. I just don't have it. But ton of fixes, ton of changes, and that is the update that came with the Warframe Mobile iOS update, right? Just a ton of general stuff. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. So, hey, not too mad about that. I can't play Warframe Mobile. I have like a new iPhone or a new Android phone, but it's an Android phone. Can't really do iPhone 
games. So hey, Warframe Android is being worked on, okay, it's getting there, and Warframe Mobile for iOS is now out. Either way, cool stuff. They had the Warframe iOS launch day stream. I think it was a lot of just Meg and uh, Reb. Yeah, Megan and Reb just chilling, talking about stuff, showing off in game what was going on and play. Okay, it might not play because uh, it was lagged out, but and play, cool, right? It was them just chilling, hanging out, having a normal stream. I think at the end I jumped in and said hi, and then said hi in region chat. They showed off the Sayonara you get for mobile. Steve jumped in, said hi. They chatted about things. I don't I don't know what they talked about, if it was anything super important. I think they were just chatting in general, right? Playing the game. When mobile launched and they could actually get in, I believe that they jumped right in. Right? Like, look at that. Oh, beautiful Warframe mobile delight. Playing on iPads. You can play on iPhones. Oh, welcome to Game Center. It's trying to get them to log in. Dang. Then they just talked about Warframe Mobile, talked about stuff, answered chat questions. And then everyone left Megan alone. Tears, tears. And then she just walked around a bit. And that was it, right? So it was a pretty calm launch day stream for Warframe Mobile. It's pretty good. We have the on Steam, if you're curious, Ale Acceration 100 Platinum. Only one purchasable per account, so yeah all things considered that is everything everybody in regards to the warframe mobile ios launch so if you're playing on your iphone if you're playing on your ipad or anything like that let me know if it's working properly good you can't be mad at that and now we'll have to wait a while for the android ios launch or sorry android launch to go along with ios and then we'll have all platforms warframe will be everywhere it's taking over and, you know, we should be good to go. If you see a lot of new players in Warframe and a lot of new Tenno, you know, try not to be mean to them in terms of on mobile. But there's going to be a lot of, like, MR0 brand new mobile players. So, yeah, just uh, just keep that in mind. There's going to be a lot of regular players that are looking around and, like, low MR players. But there's going to be... A lot of chaos so let me know what you think everybody thank you for being here subscribing on youtube twitch liking on any platforms just being on any social media i appreciate it it helps out even if i've been more casual this month with videos and everything hey thank you so that is uh that's it for now and i will see you another time cheers